Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to adjust volume in Premiere Pro. A simple thing, but if you don't know how to do it, it can be very frustrating. So let's say we have this music down here and we want it a little bit softer. Maybe it's a little too loud right now. And so we want it to just come down a little bit. The quickest way that you can do this is to either right click and go to audio gain, or what I like is just click the G button on your keyboard. It brings it up instantly and you can just be editing, then boom, G, and then move the audio. I typically only use this one, adjust gain by. What this is saying is that we are going to be adding or subtracting to the current volume that it is right now. You can see up here, this is what the gain is set to overall. Gain is just volume. So meaning that the original footage comes in at a zero. So if you see, once I click enter, so if I go back to like negative 5.3, our current Zane is our current gain is now set to a negative 5.3. And if I wanted to bring this back to zero, I could of course go up to set gain two and bring it to zero. And now it's back to what it originally was. But I typically like to adjust it up or down. So having it right here, you can just drag it down and then you know. You're like, that's a little too quiet now. Just drag it a little bit back up. Drag it a little bit back up. And you can quickly work with it through there. So that's your quickest way to adjust the volume. Another way is to expand this bottom layer. And when you expand it, you're going to see this volume thing right here. This this line. If you click and drag that, you're going to see that the numbers appear beneath it. And this is how you can adjust it really quickly as well. So if you wanted it to be quieter, you could bring it down. You can see it now we're at negative 11. Now it's really quiet, you know, bring it down to almost there. What's fun about here is it's really easy to animate from here. So if you wanted to start it off, you click this keyframe button. And let's say that we want it to, to fade in, go to this point, click and drag that all the way down. And now take a listen. It fades up. We have, you know, we could create all sorts of weird animations through. We could make it go decently loud, then go straight back down to quiet. And it's quick to do. And... And you can have a lot of fun and a lot of different effects from just that. Finally, another way to adjust the volume is if you go up to the effect controls. So if we click on this and go to effect controls, you'll see that over on the left side here, uh, this is a, so you're gonna have two, this is a specifically just an audio track, which means all it has is audio effects. Right here is your leveler. So this is gonna tell you like the current uh, volume it's at and you can animate it from here so you can bring it up to some sort of value and you'll see that the animation comes up if you don't want to do any animations you toggle off this thing and it'll just be the volume of the clip if you want to animate it of course you can toggle it back on if you're on a video and it has audio you're going to click on it you just got to scroll down past the video layer and go to the audio layer and you have the levels right here as well so those are some quick ways to adjust volume in Premiere Pro and start moving that volume around like an expert. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you would like to learn Premiere Pro, I have a course that teaches everything from Premiere uh, start to finish. It's a great course for you to master everything in Premiere and actually feel comfortable with the program. So if someone gives you a task, you know you can do it in Premiere Pro. The link to that course is in the description below. Definitely check it out. It's one of the, the funnest things I've ever worked on. Thanks, everyone. And until next time, see ya.